It roars on. One of the best teams in the country, Sunrise Christian, back on display today. Sunrise ranked third in the country. And how about this to extend their lead in the second half? Layden Blocker upstairs to Mataz Buzelis for the alley. Buzelis will be playing pro ball after high school. Chicago Prep trying to cut into the lead. Giovanni Garcia's three does just that, but it's not enough to knock off number three. Sunrise Christian, they win it 69 to 47. The early game, Freeman and Central City, 41 wins and just three losses combined between these two programs. We pick up in the second quarter, Kanai Carney, the nice Euro into the lane. That puts the Bison on top, 14-9. Just before half, a big Falcons run courtesy of Carter Ruse sends Freeman into half up 23 21. Roos not done though. He dominated in the second half. The three from the corner falls. He scores 32 points and is named the player of the game. It's the sixth highest total in Heartland Hoops Classic history as Freeman wins at 61-47. To another good game. Wahoo taking on North Platte. A Class C1 versus Class A showdown. The Warriors up for the task. Off the steal, up ahead to Owen Hancock. He's going to finish through contact on the pump fake. Warriors, they take the early lead. They weren't done yet. How about the block from the big man, Benji Nelson? The big man doing big things. North Platte, though, they answer in a big way. Carter Kelly, a two-handed jam. But how about the Warriors not backing down? They improved to 20-1 on the year, taking down North Platte 58-51. Next up, Platteview taking on Grand Island. Trojans, a top team in Class B, looking for a win in Class A. First quarter, Connor Milliken in transition gets the pull up. Jay from the charity stripe to full. GI, though, the early lead, and they avoid disaster here. Check this out. Makati Mukoma almost loses it, but it turns into the slam for his brother, Kazadi Makuma. Great play, but it's not enough. Class B, Platteview improves to 18 and fourth. The 54-37 win. The Stars 